Let me show you how to take care of noises coming from the tumbler baffles. Disconnect your electric or gas dryer from the wall outlet. Remove the screws under the lint filter cover. Take a spatula and stick it between the top and front panels. Pry up to unhook the top panel holding clips. Lift the top panel and lean it against the wall. Open the dryer door and use the baffles to turn the tumbler clockwise until the baffle screws are on the top. Loosen the screws in each one of the baffles but don't take the screws out. Turn the baffles clockwise and give them a good shake so the coins will fall off the baffles. Do it to all of them. Remove all the coins and any other objects from the tumbler. Screw the baffle holding screws in each one of the baffles and make sure they are nice and tight. Lower the top panel and push on it until the clips snap in place. Screw in the two screws under the lint filter cover. That was a way to remove coins from the tumbler baffles or adjust loose baffles that are making noises. If your dryer starts making noises and the noises get louder the more you use your dryer until the dryer sounds like a train, you will need to check the drum support rollers. Most people use a dryer when it's making noises hoping that the noises go away. But the noises won't go away. Instead, they will get worse. To check the drum rollers, open the dryer door and look at the back of the tumbler and the back wall. If there is a gap between the rear of the tumbler and the back wall, instead of being like this, you need to check the drum support rollers. Let me show you how to replace the drum support rollers on your dryer. The first thing you need to do is to disconnect your electric or gas dryer from the wall outlet. Remove the two top panel holding screws under the lint filter cover. Take a spatula and place it between the top and front panels and pry up to disengage the holding clips. Do the same on the other side. Lift the top panel and lean it against the wall. Use a piece of coat hanger wire shaped like this to hold the tumbler in place. You will need to measure to see how long it needs to be. Remove one of the tumbler baffles holding screws. Insert one end of the coat hanger wire in the baffles hole and the other end in a hole in the cabinet. This wire will hold the tumbler in place. Use a small flat screwdriver to disconnect the door switch like this. To remove the front panel, you will need to remove these two screws. Go ahead and remove the two front panel holding screws. Lift the corners of the front panel to disengage the holding clips on the bottom and take the panel right out. To disengage the belt from the motor pulley, Push on the idle pulley with your left hand and with your right hand take it right out. Remove the coat hanger wire that is holding the drum. 
and grab the drum and the belt and take them right out. Bad drum support rollers like these ones are the cause why the dry is making so much noise. To remove the bad roller, use a needle nose pliers to remove the plastic triangular ring. Then remove the bad roller. If the triangular ring on the back is good, use it. If not, use a new one. Clean the roller shaft and use lithium grease to grease the shaft. Install the new roller and install the triangular plastic ring. To remove this roller, you will need to remove the screw on the bracket, then remove the bracket, remove the triangular ring if you have one, if you don't just remove the roller. If the triangular plastic ring on the bag is good, use it. If not, replace it. Clean the roller shaft and use the lithium grease to grease the shaft. Install the new roller and install a new triangular plastic ring that comes with the rollers. Install the bracket. the bracket holding screw and the compression ring that holds the bracket in place. Grab the tumbler with the belt on it and set it in place. Make sure that the rollers are on the groove on the tumbler. Turn the tumbler around a couple times to make sure that the rollers are riding on the groove. Make sure that the baffle you remove the screw from is on the top. Install the piece of coat hanger wire to hold the tumbler in place. Make sure that the belt is in place with the ridges facing the tumbler. This is the way that the belt should look on the tumbler when installed right. And this is the way that the belt should look on the tumbler when installed wrong. So make sure you got it the right way. Set the idle pull in place and hold it with your right hand. Grab the belt with your left hand. Place it on top of the idle pulley wheel and thread it through the pulley like this. Grab the belt with your right hand. With your left hand push the idle pulley and with your right hand place the belt on the motor pulley. Like this. When installing the front panel you need to make sure that you hook the bottom of the front panel on this holding clip first. Set the front panel in front of the dryer. Hook the front panel on the bottom holding clips. Make sure that the tumbler is riding on the front felt bearing and then screw in the holding screws. Connect the door switch wire harness. Make sure you have a good connection. Remove the coat hanger wire that is holding the tumbler in place. Lower the top panel and push on it to make sure that the holding clips grab the top panel and hold it in place. Install the two top panel holding screws under the lint filter cover. That was a way to replace the drum support rollers, the belt, and the idle pulley. Let me show you how to check the blower housing when the dryer is making a noise like this. Disconnect the dryer from the wall outlet. Lean the dryer against the wall like this. Just make sure that it's not going to fall down. Remove the back panel.
Remove the four blower cover holding screws. Lift the blower cover just enough so you can stick your hand in and remove any item that is inside of the blower cover. Pencils and pens that fold into the blower housing through the hole where the filter is located are the major cause of this kind of noises in your dryer. Check the blower cover real good and check the blower. If you don't have nothing else there, just reinstall the blower cover. Install the blower cover holding screws and install the back panel. That was the way that you remove an object from the blower housing. And this is the way that the dryer should sound now.